Hello everyone. I've been a nurse for 15 years. I've seen a lot. I've complained a lot when I did not agree. I have worked solely in nursing homes. I took an oath to treat each other and everyone as I would my own family, to care for them and to be their protector. If you don't know, the average person placed in a nursing home is eventually forgotten. They don't even give visits or the family lives too far away to visit regularly. For these, there is the biggest problem. This is going to be the first of many videos to come. I hope that maybe I can change things <clears throat> since facilities would rather sweep issues under the rug rather than fix them. Also, when state regulators are, in, are no, informed of situations, they usually call ahead to a facility to inform them, which gives that facility time to fix the problem before it is fully investigated. I want to be clear, this does not happen at all state agencies or all facilities. But in the 15 years, this has happened enough to say, let's try another way. Maybe I can alert enough people in the world using videos. <clears throat> Maybe more family visits will be made. Maybe more families will open their eyes and really see what is going on. No resident will ever be identified. And unfortunately, I cannot identify the bad facilities. But in a way, it works because you, the viewer, will not focus on just one certain facility. Uh, you will focus on all of them. <laughs> Anyways, on this day uh, that I was at work, one of the patient's orders was to obtain a urine sample. Uh, to rule out any, infe any, any infection that they might have developed. When I uh, received an order like this, I go to the resident's room, I knock, I introduce myself, I explain the order and the procedure, and I give the resident time to respond. This day the resident clearly and numerous times stated no, she did not wish to give a sample. Again, numerous attempts were made. So at the end of my shift, I explained to the oncoming nurse and the unit manager uh, what took place. I expressed that the order was not achieved. Um, maybe they could try later on. I documented everything. Um, I followed the procedure to the letter. Patients have rights, and one of their rights is to say no. This happens often, and when it does, you know, you respect their wishes, and later you try it. 99% of the time, you can get the order accomplished, um, and it may take a, a, couple of, a couple of tries. Well, this day, after my uh, off-going report to the other nurse and the unit manager, and, a, and my required documentation of earlier events, um, things just didn't seem right. The outcome was definitely different. I returned to the facility later that afternoon. I was approached by that unit manager and was told she needed to speak with me. Thankfully, I've been doing this long enough to know better. I said, sure, you know, no problem. One minute, I'll be right with you. I turned around, I got my phone, and I hit the record button. I placed it in my pocket as I entered the office. The unit manager was accompanied by my unit manager also in the room. I shut the door as requested and that's when I was handed a uh, dis disciplinary write-up. That's the, what you're looking at right now in the video. Uh, the unit manager went on to explain how the director of nursing, the DON, and themselves had come to the conclusion that I had violated a doctor's order. I was floored to say the least. Uh, I explained my situation. I explained, um, you know, that I followed protocol by document by documenting by honoring the patient's rights to say no. They went on to say that, you know, the patient's confused and that they have no rights. They actually stated to me that I should have forcefully held the patient's legs apart and obtain the urine. Now at this point I'm thinking, you know, that this is a bad, really bad nightmare. You know, 
that I'm definitely not hearing this come from a supervisor's mouth. I went on to uh, remind her that the patient's rights, you know, are meant to be followed and respected. And um, not to mention that, you know, this is a form of rape. You know, if you hold somebody down and you take something, that you might as well be raping them. Uh, it's also a traumatic event. Imagine, uh, you know, if you were forcefully held down against your will, having a catheter stuck in your urethra while you were screaming, no, you know, stop, leave me alone. If you weren't confused then, uh, you would be in the end. This could send some patient's mind over the edge. So I refused to sign the, the disciplinary write-up. I reinstated that I took a oath to protect the rights of others. I walked out. And uh, that was the end of that situation. Um, I need you, the viewers, to please pass on this video. Um, and any others that I might make in the future. This needs to stop. You know, what's, what's taking place in some of these uh, nursing homes. Uh, if you the family member get more involved and stay involved this will stop you need to get more um, involved in what's going on what's um, the procedures taking place how they're treated uh, because this could be you or your family member one day um, it's not just a violation of rights it's uh, situations where some patients who cannot do for themselves you know they request to go to the bathroom and some lazy scumbag in a uniform says sorry I'm not your aide or I'm on my way to break or you have a diaper on use it anyways enough for now stay tuned for more um, more videos I'm gonna be going over everything that takes place from the beginning to the end because I say I I come across these things that take place I do my best to stop them uh, but I really need your all's help. You know, maybe if we all work together and start getting more involved, this will change. Um, I'm not ever going to give up on these people. I'm not ever going to try to stop making a difference. You know, they need us. They need me. They need good people out there to look after them. Um, but I can't do this alone. And uh, unfortunately, too many people are afraid to speak out or they're doing it themselves. So uh, thank you and I appreciate you watching.